All right, down slope lies. A lot of people really don't like this shot, and I understand that, but the more that you understand situations and when you steepen the strike and when you shallow the strike, these shots become much, much easier. So this is a down slope. You have a higher side back here and a lower side here. So that means the ground is kind of above the ball behind the ball. So if that's the case, we have to be coming into the ground steeper than normal. If this were flat like this, our angle of attack, let's say coming down at six or seven degrees would be fine. But now because this is steeper, we have to hit the ground a little bit later or be a little bit steeper. So we have to do some things in our setup that's gonna encourage the angle of attack being steeper. So let's discuss what those things are. Number one is I have to start leaning down the slope. I've got to get my mass leaning left. If I lean really far left, that's gonna hit me, that's gonna help me hit the ground later. So that's number one. Number two is I gotta widen my stance. That's gonna allow me to be leaning left. If I have a really narrow stance, it's very hard to lean left. I feel very off balance. Apart from those two things, I don't think there's a whole lot in the setup that you have to do. Um, one thing that I do think about at address is I think about where my nose is. This isn't really specific to this shot. It just has to do with short game in general. Wherever my nose is is where I'm likely gonna strike the ground. So when I have a downslope shot like this, I'm trying to get my nose even or even slightly left. Now, is that gonna take off some loft? Yes, everything that I'm saying is gonna take off loft, but we can take care of that in the swing and one thing at address. So usually when you're on a down slope, you're having to add a little bit of loft. So we just gotta make sure that we twist that face open a little bit. It doesn't have to be a ton. Okay, so this would be my pretty stock setup for a down slope lie. Now, what do I do in the swing? In the swing, we're trying to create some loft and spin. So obviously if we're doing that, we're trying to hit kind of an open face or weak face cut. So let me turn to the side here and I can kind of demonstrate this swing. So as I go back, I'm really not trying to feel draw. I'm trying to feel more of a fade. So I'm gonna feel like the club is coming up in front of me, kind of over my shoulder like this. That motion is gonna be a steepener. Fades are steepeners of the angle of attack, which is gonna help us hit the ground later. On top of, it's gonna be much easier to get the face more open. And it's also gonna be easier to spin it when I'm hitting more of a weak face cut. So as I'm doing this, I would be doing some practice swings. I think it's really, really helpful to do practice swings, focusing on hitting the ground after the ball or in front of the ball. If, you, if you're here and you're doing swings like this, you can see I'm hitting the ground right there. That's likely because I'm doing too much of a draw. I've gotta feel more fade. I would say that's the, the most common error I see dynamically is people don't do a big enough fade, they do too much of a draw, or they don't do a big enough swing. You can see I'm doing some pretty massive swings here. I've got about a 15 yard shot, okay, ready to hit, wide stance, lean left, face open, hinge and spin. You can see my big swing. Yeah, that had really nice loft, lots of spin. I'll demonstrate that again. Set up, good lie. Lean towards the target, face open, normal grip. Spin the face as I'm hitting a cut. Big, big swing. Now, one thing that I should say is, just because you're doing a big swing, that doesn't mean you're putting a lot of speed into it. If I do a big swing, I can kind of have this nice, lazy, smooth swing where I'm not having to accelerate the club so much versus someone who does a really short swing and they have to add a lot of pace or add a lot of speed. It's much, much better for spinny, high, soft shots to do big swings at slower speeds. One, two, and that was really good. Yeah, both of those came out about the same. So if you struggle on down slopes, start with your setup keys, getting more left, add the face, open that address, and then big swings that, with cuts and weak face, and I guarantee you'll improve this shot.